Um, so I thought I'd make a video because unlike for me, I didn't um, have anybody to give me advice when looking to do breast a breast augmentation and I thought I was doing my due diligence researching enough but really I wasn't and I didn't have a big sister or anything to I guess counsel with before it so anyway I wrote down a list of things um, one being no um, plastic surgeon tells you about breast implant illness um, and I'm not trying to scare anybody because Again, I'm all about fitness and looking good, and that's why I chose to get implants. Um, but nobody told me about what could happen if you get sick. So um, do research breast implant illness. Um, I think I'm experiencing it now for the last four weeks, which has been kind of scary. So um, I've been looking into doing an explant and doing so much research that I actually never thought about before so I just feel kind of naive that's why I felt as I was putting my makeup on um, that I should make a quick video even though I don't do this um, just to kind of inform so do research breast implant illness also do something I didn't do research your procedure so if you get a lift and you put a scar on your breast think about if you ever have to remove your implants what that's gonna look like the complications that it will entail when you, if you have your implants removed for whatever reason. Um, I never thought about that, so uh, now I am and it's kind of scary. So anyway, I did make a little list, not too long, but if you're told you need a specific procedure by a doctor, first of all, don't go in there saying, well, this doctor told me I need this because then they'll just run with that and make their estimate, you know for that other doctor and see that you're, you know, susceptible or naive or what have you, or you already have your mind made up, so they might as well go and write you an estimate for implants and a lift. Um, but anyway, if you don't, say you don't want a vertical lift, please do your research. I didn't do enough. Look for, put in a question in Google, if I want a lift and don't want to do, say, the vertical scar. Um, research that because you'd be surprised what you find. Um, what I found, uh, I forget what it's called, the Bellasoma lift where they don't leave any scars that are noticeable. Um, it's just under your fold that they do it and anyway there's a great doctor, um, I've read reviews on someone in Texas, but anyway look that up. Um, his name I believe is Hordensky, but again look that up. But any questions you have, if you don't like the procedure and you think a few doctors have told me I need this procedure done, you Google your question. If I don't want to do such and such, what's an alternative? Um, so yeah, it might take, you know, patience to find it, but you will probably. Um, also look in other countries, why not? Um, Procedure what? So if you do, or if you are told you need a, per, a certain procedure, ask in detail what it entails. How are they going to do it? How are they going to cut your nipple or areola? Um, will you able be able to like breastfeed um, afterward? Um, just everything you can think of. Um, so don't do my first breast augmentation. I did research for a while, but I chose my first doctor in four days. I made up my mind about him. That's probably not the best thing to do. Um, even though that was fine, it turned out okay. Um, anyway, back to the list. So what the risks are um, for your procedure, ask those questions too. Um, surgeons, license and certificates and anything that they have on their site listed under their education um, or specialty, whatever, Google it. Um, you can do a license check to make sure that it's valid. You can also um, go to your state medical board and check if they've, you know, check it on there. That's where you go actually. Also check if they've had any lawsuits or complaints. Um, and when you do those kinds of research, go to multiple sites because sometimes doctors, they can pay to have the best reviews out there um, or have um, 
I guess, good reviews at the top of the list when you do do a Google search on them. So just be wary of that. Like, do a few, a few searches and see what multiple sites are saying. One is Real Self, um, another one, Yelp, we all know about that. But there's just, there's a lot of different ways you can look it up, but do that. Don't, I would suggest don't looking, don't look on the doctor's site for his patients that he is clearly going to put them on there if they're good reviews. Don't even pay attention to those. Just go to outside sources. Um, that being said, you can check to see, again, if there's any lawsuits or disciplinary actions. Um, I believe you can check with the state medical board to see if any disciplinary action has been taken against that doctor. Um, so yeah, this kind of takes the fun out of, ooh, I'm gonna get a you know breast augmentation. But do it, because you never know. I mean, you're essentially putting your body in their hands. You wake up and you're hoping it's turning out just the way they said, but there are no guarantees, really. And doctors, unfortunately, are protected. It is a hassle, depending on what state you're in, um, to sue a doctor or prove any negligence. So this is the part where I would say have a paper trail. Every single visit you have, whether you feel awkward or not, this is money you're spending. You're spending thousands of dollars on these doctors. So don't feel weird about saying, you know, I would really like for my records just to have every copy of our visits, what we went over, what we discussed. Um, yeah. And um, let's see here. Get everything in writing. So the procedure he's recommending to you, have him put in detail why in the, in the estimate. So they're going to give you an estimate at the end. They always do after every consultation. They want to give you the price and say, so when do you want to book a surgery? Just say you'll get back to them. But do make sure they, like, even if you're the only customer that does this, do it anyway. Who cares? Be that one person. But you're being smart and you're being thorough. Have them put in that estimate, in writing, what the procedure entails and that they are recommending such and such. Um... Again, it can't hurt to have it if things go wrong later on. Um, but yeah, every doctor visit, I failed to do that, and that bit me in the, the butt. Um, so you want to have copies of everything before like, you're in a situation where you're asking your doctor later on, and they alter the records. Then you have no proof. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I wouldn't recommend, by the way, I would never recommend Dr. Juris Bunkus in Newport Beach. Do not go to him. Um, I don't care, yeah, who recommends him to you. I'm not sure how much I can say on here, but altering the records, I mentioned that for a reason. Um, my procedure not coming out the way it was told to me. Um, yeah, so that being said, without saying who said it, I would not recommend Dr. Juris Funkus. Um, if you want to email me for details, you can. Um, anyway, so we went over that. Oh, always, again, always ask, are you going to lose nipple sensation or is it going to, how are they going to cut around the areola if they have to? Because that's where your milk ducts are and if you plan to nurse in the future, you want to make sure that you can do that. Um, have your own questions for the doctor. I went to a site, I forget which one, but a printout of we're doing such and such, you're recommending such and such, and this is the procedure that the way you think it will go. And have, have your own questions. I'm sure you can come up with some, but have the doctor sign that. Ask if he's willing to. That couldn't hurt either. Again, you might feel a little awkward, but if you're spending thousands of dollars, like I have, um, why not? It's like buying a car. You want everything, you want to make sure everything is before you pay that money, right? So anyway, um, also you would want to Google, I, I didn't put this down, but the anesthesiologist, the nurses, all that. And you want all those records too, because sometimes the doctor has an operating uh, room that he pays and it's sometimes right next door which in my case that's what it was but they'll have their own set of records of how your surgery went so kind of compare notes with the other doctor uh, with your doctor I mean 
Um, and also look at reviews for the anesthesiologist if they've had any disciplinary action or any deaths um, on their record, anything. Um, that's always good for your benefit. Um, ask for your old implants back. Sometimes doctors get a kickback if they have your implants and you know they're gonna get some kind of reimbursement, kind of like taking your old battery um, into letting them keep it at the auto shop, they get something for it. Um, and for parts also. So anyway, it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, get your implants back. You paid for them. They're yours. Um, so we went over the medical board. I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share those few things because it could be helpful and everybody watches YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps some someone, some girl out there to make an educated decision. And Either way, I wish the best for you, so if you choose implants, great, but also look at breast implant illness because that's another risk that you want to make sure you're aware of before you put implants in your body. Okay, so anyway, that's it. I hope uh, this has helped someone, and uh, if I have anything else to share, I will feel free to post another video. Anyway, good luck and have a great day. Bye.